Welcome back to Mets Be Adventurous. This is Chad. Today we're going to review and start a fire in the Solo Stove Bonfire. Stay tuned for the end of the video and I'm going to show you how to make a simple fire in just minutes. This is the Solo Stove Bonfire with the Backyard Bundle. I received this for Christmas. Our good camping friends uh, Sarah and Vince have had a uh, bonfire solo stove since its Kickstarter days and we've used it multiple times and have enjoyed it. So we decided we would ask for it for Christmas. Um, the backyard bundle includes the fire shield up top so no embers can fly out and the fire is contained in the fire pit and includes the uh, stand at the bottom so the grass doesn't get scorched or um, it safe, allows it to be safe to use on the deck. It comes with uh, two tools to take the shield off. It also comes with the solo stove shelter that covers the solo stove. You can see there's some ice on it. It is currently 32 degrees outside. The nice thing about the solo stove is that the shield and all the equipment with it actually nest inside of the solo stove so you can take the shield off and what you do is you place that inside place that in place that in and it all nests where it's nice and flush at the top and keeps it low profile. The whole unit weighs around 20 pounds. I took the shield off the top to kind of give you guys a better look at just the bare bones uh, solo stove. So it has this ring that's on the top here. For airflow, it has the vent holes inside around the top. The bottom has a uh, perforated ash um, ash layer where the ash can fall down and the solo stove can still get plenty of airflow and then on the exterior there are vent holes as well and the bonfire is the mid-range there's a smaller ranger and a larger yukon fire in just minutes in the solo stove we are going to first take our logs place them in the bottom of the stove here the solo stove I believe will hold about between six and eight uh, 16 inch logs then you want to take some paper in this case I got paper towels but newspaper old paper bags anything like that works really well then you want to take your kindling you can either take small little pieces off of your logs with a hatchet or a pocket knife or you can use small sticks leaves anything like that you just want it in pretty small sections and then kind of increasingly get it bigger and once you have those you can put one more little log on top and you're going to get your lighter and you're going to light the paper towel in a couple different spots and stand back and watch your fire take off One really awesome thing about the solo stove that unfortunately I didn't get on video is the portability. The solo stove comes with a basically a carrying bag or a big duffel bag that it goes into. Makes it really convenient for when it's uh, cooled down. You can throw it in the bag, store it inside, um, take it from your back deck to the campground um, to a friend's house. Uh, it makes it very versatile. Um, another cool thing about the solo stove is once the fire gets going, and as long as you keep the logs below the top vent holes, it basically recirculates the air inside the solo stove, making it pretty much 
smoke free or a lot less smoke than you would normally see on a campfire. Um, and it is a pretty direct heat that comes up. Uh, we prefer to use this camping versus the um, fire pits at the campgrounds because they're open. The heat kind of just disperses wherever. This is uh, kind of straight up, so it makes a much better fire for us, a uh, much better experience, and we enjoy it. Overall, the Solo Stove is a uh, expensive product, but it's a, it's a quality product, and it's um, something that will last you a lifetime, and it's very portable. Um, and I think it's a good buy. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Come back for the next video of Mets Be Adventurous. Have a good day, guys.